line. What for, Steve? Ice cream. Uh, footage from the day. This is the only thing I managed to journal that day. <laughs> and uh, these are all the photos that I took. I edited them and sent them to my computer and printed them out. Here is the time-lapse footage from Procreate from when I was doodling all my favorite Pixar characters and moments and short 
films and whatever, etc., etc. Uh, doodling them all over my hashtag Disney Blue Wall photo. I was living my best Instagram life. That jersey is a hybrid of a uh, jersey, spirit jersey from California, and the Pixar Playtime shirt from Tokyo Disney Sea. So I was repping both parks that day, and I was really excited for it. Um, I love Tokyo. You guys know that is my home away from home, my second home. I don't need an excuse to go there, but currently I'm looking for one. So if any of you need me to take you on a personal shopping trip to Tokyo, as long as you're paying, I'm there. <laughs> Uh, no, look, I, I honestly, I don't need an excuse to go. I would just go. I, it's just the struggle of finding money, right? Where does one find an extra few thousand dollars? <laughs> um, although I have been trying to convince Steve to let me go back. At least me. <laughs> uh, no, him too. I mean, he wants to, but it's like, seriously, it is expensive though. But we did Airbnb last time, which was honestly a lifesaver. Cause I, I think Airbnb was like 60 bucks a night or something. I have no idea. Anyway, I'm getting so sidetracked. Let me talk about what I'm doing today. The most involved spread I have done in a long, 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 long time. Um, this is the doors. These are the doors from Monsters, Inc. I was watching Paint the Night Parade and the Monsters, Inc. unit was going by. I saw Sully and behind him he had all these rotating doors. Now, first of all, that parade sent me into overdrive because there's so many colors and they're so bright and I was just living for it. Like, honestly, I'm so subscribed to that. So um, when I saw the parade go by, I was just living my best life. I was looking at everything, really excited for Tinkerbell. She's flying everywhere. <laughs> um, I just love it. I love that parade. Honestly, also, I'm just completely blown away by the fact that someone could program lights to do that. How do you do? I mean, I don't want to know how you do that because it seems boring, but I am truly impressed. If you're, if you're an engineer out there that knows how to do that, you work in software and programming, you are incredible. Thank you for literally um, lighting up my day because I love Paint the Night Parade. I think it's a really great parade. Uh, <laughs> let's not get too sidetracked. Basically, uh, I saw the doors and I wanted to do that because for the longest time I've loved the credits of Monsters, Inc. And I love the little mid-century, um, doors flying in and out of the screen. Uh, mid-century in their artistic, uh, interpretation in that, in those credits. I don't know if it's the opening credits or the closing, but one of the credits has those doors and they're, they look like this and it's just... I really, really love it. I wanted to reference it for so long, but I just never have. And today I thought was definitely a great reason to do it because I have so, so much junk and it's not hoarding if it ends up in a journal. So I'm literally making this my excuse to put it all in my journal and feel better about myself. <laughs> I have so much Pixar, Disney themed uh, washi tape and ephemera bits and pieces, brochures, leaflets, flyers, journals, stickers. Um, I have so much that's just full of it. So I thought this would be a great way to de-stash a lot of it. And also, um, not de-stash in a way that like I'm getting rid of it, but make it, make it useful, make it decorations for a day that I had at Disney, right? I mean, it's just the perfect excuse to use it all. So I uh, definitely went overboard with that and I'm not mad about it. <laughs> I used all these little doors. I, I don't know if it should I explain what I'm doing. Basically I cut three sides of the rectangle out and then it's, it's, it becomes a flap. Now these are really interesting because they're about business card sized and um, imagine doing your little art journal spreads on a business card. Cause that's what I felt like I was doing three, six, nine, 18 times over. <laughs> Basically, I felt like I did 18 little journal spreads on business cards today. So it was really, really interesting, but I loved that challenge. I don't know what it is. I think it's the equivalent of someone sitting down to do a Sudoku puzzle or perhaps uh, do a daily crossword. Like you get your newspaper out of a Sunday and you do the daily crossword. I don't know if people still do that, but that's what I remember people doing. Um, I think this is the equivalent for me because I don't like to do those puzzles. I tried Sudoku. Honestly, I did. I gave it my best shot, but that's just way too many numbers and way too much thinking. Um, this to me is just more intuitive, more feel your way through it and just enjoy the process with lots of color and stickers. And I love stickers. So, uh, this is my version of puzzle play. I would say this is, this is why I think that's therapeutic for me because this whole thing is just problem solving. I'm looking at you know, bits of bits and pieces of ephemera that don't necessarily fit where I want to put them. And how do I get that in there? Or how do I get this word to be in there, but I still use the rest of this photo or how, you know what I mean? Like, I love that kind of a challenge. I think it's really stimulating for my brain. It just gets me like electric inside. So I, uh, I really, really enjoy that. This is, I'm just going to go out and say, this is my version of puzzle play. And that's why I'm kind of addicted to it, I guess, because it's, it's that, um, 
it's, it's that relaxation Zen mode that you kind of get into while you're doing it. And before you know it, five hours have passed and you're still there and you're still enjoying yourself and you've watched 7,000 YouTube videos. Um, but it, it's, it's really, really fun. So that's why I like to do it as well as having these memories to go back and look at. Um, one of the best things for me is to go back and flip through these journals and to see days like this that have been commemorated or moments that I've drawn about or just illustrations that I remember were inspired by something, an event that I really, really had a great time at or, you know, maybe even something that was sad in your life. I think um, having these visual representations of things that happen in your life, these kind of triggers for you is just, I, I really, really enjoy that. I think that's super fun. It's... I also write, like I, I've been doing daily writing, so I know I could always go back and read it, but for me, I'm very visual, and this this would evoke so much more um, of the feeling that I had experiencing Pixar Fest than just rereading me writing about the day, if that makes sense. So I, you know, I could totally journal about it and say what I did and where I did it and when I did it and how I did it and how much I ate while I did it. I could, I could journal all about that. And, uh, you know, I, and I do, I write my feelings out about that, but the actual kind of memory that I want, I, I want this visual stimulus. I want the photos and I want the stickers and I want the receipts. <laughs> where are the receipts? <laughs> uh, do you guys know what I'm quoting? I'm not quoting Steve and I from that video. Uh, anyway, so I, I want all of this stuff because it, this is, it's just, this is so triggering. I mean, I couldn't not look at this and not remember the day and everything that we did and how much fun I had doing it. So, uh, I guess that's why I get really overly excited about it. And I think that's how you guys get too. That's the impression that I get. I, I think we all get a little too excited about stuff like this, <laughs> uh, but I'm giving us permission to do it. I don't care. At least we're getting excited about journaling and not something crazy. Um, anyway, so Pixar Fest was actually really fun. The park wasn't super crowded, which was a nice surprise. Uh, I think because Pixar Pier isn't open yet, so basically all the Pixar Fest stuff is open, the celebration is, but the actual pier, that whole Paradise Pier area that they're transforming with the, uh, the Ferris wheel and the roller coaster and all those like boardwalk games down there and everything, that is completely closed off and they're still uh, renovating that. I believe it opens in about six weeks. <coughs> Pardon me. So that wasn't open. To be honest, it didn't really affect my day. It didn't take away from it. My favorite ride is Indiana Jones. So as long as that was working, I was okay. Um, I'm also not like a huge ride person either. If I do want to go on rides, I get max pass because it's 10 bucks. And um, it's just the convenience of not having to run from park to park to get a fast pass every time one becomes available. You just do it on your phone and it's set, it's done. Um, but yeah, so I, I, we had max pass and if we want to go on rides, I do that. And then I kind of get really weird about it in my head. I start uh, doing the calculations. So if I get, we went into the park, I might, I add at about one thirty. we got there because we lived just down the road. So we just fed the cats and went in. <laughs> um, I had to do mermaid and get all of that stuff up before we left. So I just, you know, we could, we had our morning. Um, so we went down at one and if you can get like three or four rides in. So if you get four rides in, then you're doing $2.50 per ride to skip the lines, which to me, I'm justifying. I'll totally justify that. Um, you know, sometimes I'll justify an extra hundred dollars to have leg room on a flight. It's just one of those things that if I, if I can spare the cash and I'm, I'm, I'm happy to do it, then I'm happy to do it. <laughs> so max pass is one of those things for me. And, uh, and we did go on Indiana Jones. We went on that space mountain thing too, which did you know they've changed to star Wars? So you can imagine my delight when I get up there and I'm already scared of that roller coaster anyway, cause I can't see anything. And I feel like my hands are going to get chopped off if I put them up. So I don't, I don't put my hands up. I just hold on. Um, it's all space themed in there. I get up there and I just see planets. I see like asteroids and stuff being shot around me. I look like I'm in a game of space invaders. I am literally screaming my head off because I can't, I can't even process what's happening <laughs> towards the end. I'm kind of laughing cause I'm so overwhelmed. I can't even believe it. I feel like I'm whizzing through space and I'm hyperventilating as I do it. Steve's laughing his head off at me because he thinks it's so stupid that I get so nervous, but right at the end when all of that space stuff just kind of disappears, I, I threw my fingers up for a peace sign as the photo went. Cause I was, I knew that the photos are included in max pass. I was like, I've got to do this for my journaling. <laughs> so I got myself a nice little picture and wouldn't you know it, Steve was ducking. I don't know why he was ducking, but it just looks like I went on the ride with like without him. If you look super close, you can see he is ducking behind the thing, but 
Yeah, yeah either way. I thought that was pretty funny. So I had a great day there. Pixar Fest is really fun. I love Pixar movies. Wally is one of my favorites. I know such a contradiction because I just talked about hating space, but at least I know in Wally, like it's super fake. It's just animated. And believe me, there are still some things that I have a little bit of anxiety about in that movie, but I can kind of get over it because I love Wally so much. Um, anyway, and I love Monsters Inc. I love Coco. P.S. A little underrepresented, not going to lie. I have a little bit of an issue with that. I don't know who to take it up with, but hopefully this video makes it to their ears. <laughs> I'm looking for more Coco representation in Pixar Fest, please. Um, but yeah, totally love it. Toy Story, complete classic. Um, up, everyone loves Up. Yeah, I'm, I'm really into it. So I want to thank you for coming with me on this adventure. For everyone that joined me on the Insta story as we uh, did the day, that was super fun. Thank you for joining us. And uh, until next time, I'm just going to probably be in my office just staring at these colors until I fall asleep and dream vivid, colorful dreams. <laughs> um, thanks for joining me, guys. Until tomorrow, I'll be back with another mermaid post. And uh, I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.